Hello, testing, testing. Alrighty, so then we can do our run up when we get out to the runway. They've been doing some construction here, so it might be kind of a weird clearance, which is kind of fun. What's the top making Sierra 2254, Zulu Wind 260 at 6, visibility 10, sky clear. Temperature 21, 2.11, altimeter 3006. ILS and visual, runway 29 approaches in use. Taxiway Bravo closed from gate 4 of the terminal ramp to runway 29. Hazardous wind information. In Tango for New England and coastal waters, available in high water flight watch or flight service frequencies. Advise on initial contact to have Sierra. Okay, so that's information, Sierra, and runway 29 is open. It's been closed recently. But Taxiway Bravo is closed, which is what we usually use to get out there. So what she's probably going to do is give us a clearance, probably Delta and then like back taxi 29 or something. Um, but we'll see. It's been kind of fun recently. They've been telling us to do all sorts of kind of things. Anyway, um, yeah, let's get out there. Worcester Ground, Warrior Air, we, pardon me, Warrior 8027 Foxtrot, the T-Hangers information, the Sierra, rated taxi, and we'll be staying in the pattern. Warrior 8027 Foxtrot, Worcester Ground, runway 29, or taxi via Delta, runway 15, cross runway 29, left turn on Alpha. Taxi 2, runway 29, via taxiway Delta, runway 15, cross 29, left turn on Alpha for 8027 Foxtrot. That's why I definitely recommend, even if you're at your home airport, to have your taxiway diagram out or in your iPad or something ready to go, because they can throw you a real real oddball sometimes. So that's taxiway Delta, which is right in front of us. And you see because of the red markings here, the next one is runway 33. So that's our left turn on 33. And then we go all the way to the end and take a left on Alpha, and Alpha goes to 29. I'm glad that you guys are coming along today. This is a rare thing for me, flying alone. It's been over a year, I think. Um, it's, you know, I never really get a chance to just go out and practice my landing. So tonight, I have a beef to settle with the air. You guys are here for one thing. We are looking for the perfect landing. It's a pretty calm night here at Worcester Airport. That doesn't happen often either, and it's a beautiful sunset. So we're going to get up there, and uh, we're going to find the perfect landing. And there's a one other important thing I want to discuss with you guys today that involves the future of the channel. Um, but we'll get there when we get there. Right now it's time for run-up. Worcester Tower, Warrior 8027 Foxtrot, holding short runway 29 at Alpha, and staying in the pattern. Warrior 0027 Foxtrot, with the top, make left close traffic, report midfield down each time around, runway 29 or clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 29 or left traffic, and we'll report on the downwind for 8027 Foxtrot. Landing lights and strobe lights are on, mixtures full rich. Lined up, and away we go. Feels the floor, full power. Oh, I love that acceleration when you have a light plane. Oh, it feels nice and calm, good. I don't know, we might be able to do it, get a good landing. Airspeed's alive, temperature pressure's all in the green, a little bit of right rudder. And we're away. out my GPS so we have good situational awareness of the airport. Climbing at VY, so we're pitched up really high because we have a light airplane, which is nice, and it's a long runway. It's almost 8,000 feet, which I recommend doing pattern work at controlled airports because that way, that's one thing you don't have to worry about is anybody else coming by and giving you a scare or not reporting on the radios like one of my videos because the tower's already watching out for you. It doesn't guarantee your safety. You still got to watch out and look for birds, but... At least it takes care of one variable. There's our crosswind. Airport's coming up behind us. Start bringing the power back to level out 1,000 feet above and 90 knots. Wow, that's such a fast pattern when you're alone. Holy mackerel. Thought I was going to have more time to talk to you guys. But anyway, what I did want to talk about... You know, the channel's grown pretty crazy. We've been growing at about 100% per month recently. And that's a, that's a lot of growth. And you know what? I'm having a hard time deciding what content makes you guys happy. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a new YouTube feature, and I'm going to put a poll in this video. And that way you guys can vote on what makes you guys happiest. Because, you know, I figure the more people we get, you know, you see there's a lot of thumbs down and a lot of trolls, and, you know, 99% of you guys love it, and that's great. And I wouldn't do it without you guys, so keep giving me good feedback. 
but uh, I think a lot of the hate comes from the fact that I just tackle more controversial topics than other people. You know, other people just kind of go flying. And I like to tackle some of the topics you hear about when you're around the flight school. And, uh, you know, part of me wants to just go back to just flying with my friends and stuff. So that's one option. I'll let you guys tell me what you think. And I'll talk to you guys again on Upwind. Carpy. Mixture Master Mags. My fuel pump always stays on when I'm doing pattern work. And when we got the runway made, one more notch of flaps. Gonna need a uh, touch of power. We go full power. Yeah, so here's the poll. I'll give you guys a couple options. Um, one is that I just decide I'm going to have fun with this, and I'm going to stop trying to answer people's questions, and I'm going to stop trying to hit the controversial topics, and I'm just going to go flying and have fun with friends and take you guys along for the ride, kind of like tonight. Um, option two. I do more editorials, you know, like when I talk about uh, top 10 mistakes you make in aviation or uh, ways to pick a flight school or something. Um, I'll throw in the option if you guys want to watch me do flight simulator, you know, I'll get paid to sit at my computer, sure. And we're going crosswind. I'll throw in other at the bottom. If you have some flight idea, feel free to put it in the comment section. 90 knots, 1,000 feet. And then I'll give you one thing you don't have an option on, which is one piece of content that I know is going to come to the channel real soon, because we're working on it real hard, is Killian's flying lessons. She's got about 10 hours right now, and she's heading for her solo real fast. So hopefully you guys will enjoy flying along with her and Instructor Tyler from AeroVenture Institute. Really good friends of mine. I'm going to keep it a little bit tighter this time. The wind's blowing us that way, so it's blowing us kind of quartering away from the runway. Yeah, it looks good. At about 80 knots. Well, obviously, any other suggestions? I usually look to my Patreon guys. They're kind of like my advisory board. I always ask them. But there's no reason you guys can't contribute, too. If you have any bright ideas for stuff I might do in the future, then let me know. This is kind of this is kind of different today, so you guys can let me know how you like this. Carpy, Mixture Master Mags. That's the sight picture I want to see. At 70 knots, perfect. away, car feeds off, full power. So I'll give you guys the last option in the poll, or at least I'll talk about it, which is, if you guys want this to kind of become more of a, this is kind of a weird one, but if you want this to become more of like a satire, or like a comedy channel, like I'm not going to be doing stand-up, but like you know, tackling kind of funny topics in aviation, so like Piper versus Cessna, or like the best way to get into an airplane through the door, like something like that. Like more ground stuff, and more like, uh, you know, humor between us pilots on the airfield. Because there's only so much you could do in the air. And what's really great on a day like today is that I can talk to you because it's just me. And the workload is not that much. And some people are going to yell at me saying the workload is always high when you're in the pattern, but... I end up talking to myself while I'm up here anyway. Maybe you'll think I'm just crazy now. I want to thank my guys on Patreon, too, for supporting the channel. They really make it worth it. Me setting up all the cameras is, like, the worst part of this, and then going home and editing it for, like, eight hours a day <laughs> when, uh, when a video is due. Um, and obviously, all you guys that comment, all my regulars and notification squad, I love you guys so much, too, because this has been a crazy adventure, and it would be pretty lonely, if I had this fame, but no feedback. So that's kind of what today's all about. It's just getting some more feedback from you guys and taking it easy. Going flying, having fun, remembering what it's all about, you know. Worcester Tower, Warrior 8027, Foxtrot, midfield, left downwind, 29. Warrior 27, Foxtrot, after this touch and go, is going to be closing runway 1129 for work in progress. 
I'll be switching over to 3-3. Three, three. So runway 2-9-er, clear touch and go. On the go, turn left for left traffic, runway 3-3. Three, three. Uh, cleared for touch and go, runway 2-9, and we'll make left traffic 3-3 three, three after we take off 2-9. Get zero twos on Fox Trot. All right, so let's see if we can keep this one nice and tight. Runway made, full flaps. She even got the lights on for us. Flaps are gone, car beats off, full power. Worcester Tower, Warrior 8027, Fox Trot, speed numbers 33. Warrior 27, Fox Trot, say again. I'll be in the numbers 33, and now we're about to turn base for 33. Warrior 27, Fox Trot, runway 33, clear touch and go on the go. Continue with left close traffic, runway 33, report midfield down each time around. Clear for touch and go 33, we'll do left traffic 33, and report on the downwind for 8027, Fox Trot. Yeah, the winds are still a little bit. Now it's just the other direction. Flaps out of the car beats away. Full power. See if we can get off with Torque 29. Yeah. Stay in ground effect. And up we go. That's so it doesn't, uh, so the gear doesn't like hit the side of the runway really hard. It's not a big deal here because it's pretty smooth, but at airports that have like an intersecting grass runway or something, if you nail it, you'll have a, you'll have a bad day. Pop a tire or something. That's going to tell me to change fuel tanks, which we haven't been burning a lot, so they're still pretty even. That's a great trick I got out of somebody in a recent video, is to set the timer on your Garmin GPS. To, get, to warn you like every 40 minutes or something to change tanks. But I said that was one thing that's always dogged me is that my airplane doesn't have a setting for both. I only can burn left or right tank. But if you leave it on the left the whole time, even if you have tons of fuel, it might not be in the right tank. Touch all craft information Tango, now current altimeter 3007. Runway 29 are ILS out of service, DME out of service, runway 1129 are closed, runway 33 in use. Mr. Tower Warrior 8027 Fox Trot, midfield left down, 1 3 3, and we'll switch over and get Tango on the base. Warrior 2 South, correction, Warrior 2 South Fox Trot, runway 3 3, clear touch and go. Clear touch and go 3 3 for 8027 Fox Trot. Available on high watch, flight watch, and flight service frequencies. Advised on initial contact, two pass Tango. What's the top mission Tango with 0 0 0 0 Zulu? Wind 250 at 6, visibility 10, sky clear. Temperature 1-9er, 2.11, altimeter 3-0. Blast away, heartbeats off, full power. And visual, runway 33, approaches and use. DME, out of service. Runway 1-1-2-9, off before 2-9, staying ground effect. Runway 1-1-2-9, approaches and use. Yeah, sorry about that, I just didn't want to hit the button while I was trying to land. The wind is working out much better for me this way, or it's because the runway is smaller. This is a 5,000 foot runway, but can you tell that when we're turning like base to final, we have no power, and it's like no power all the way down to the runway, and we have like four white lights all the way down. Like that's the perfect glide slope for, in my opinion, for like a piston airplane, because most people, you know, the, the ideal glide slope is three degrees, which is what the Vazis or the Pappies is set, are set to in most places. But in my opinion, in a piston airplane, you want to be above that, because you always want to have that extra power in case that engine fails. And like right now too, I'm not climbing to a thousand. You see where the runway is? I'm going to like 600 or 700 before I turn. And like, that's what I was, for one, that's what I was taught at my flight school. But two, you know, that way you stay closer to the airport too. You can climb a little bit more than VY too. And that way you just stay close. So if you have any kind of a failure, and like luckily here, it's a huge field. So I could choose to land anywhere the flip I want to. And a thousand feet. I'll, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end this today with a simulated engine out, which will be fun. I've practiced those a lot with instructors over at AeroVenture. What's your tower, Warrior 8027 Foxtrot, midfield left downwind, runway 33. Warrior 27 Foxtrot, runway 33, clear touch and go. Clear touch and go, 33, 8027 Foxtrot. 
Yeah, I'll end with a simulated engine out, and like perhaps that'll be the, the best landing of the day. I've, many instructors will advocate that. They'll say, you know what the best landing is? Is one where you have really, when you got your toes on energy management. But we'll see. The first one was so far the best of the day. The last couple of ones have been pretty like textbook, but they haven't been super smooth though. And, you know, I love staying safe and everything, but you know, really? I want it to be smooth too. This is weird, getting to think about what I'm saying while I'm flying with you guys. Usually I'm like talking to passengers and it just kind of like comes naturally. This is weird. I kind of like it. Don't let that influence what you vote for though. Yeah, see, we're still nice nice and high with four whites. What's the tower, FA-1? FA-1, what's the tower? Bring that crab angle. I would like to go to the 2-9 glide slope, please. FA-1, I don't know if you're allowed on taxiway Bravo. Proceed out to Foxtrot, but hold short of runway 33. No, I'm just going to hold short on the uh, tie down until the plane goes by. FA-1, are you? Flaps away, full power, car beats out. Even though we landed long, we still made it off of 14.9. I'll have to see what that distance is. Worcester Tower, Warrior 8027, Fox Tower, Speedfield, left that one, runway 33. We'd like to do a simulated engine out, and we'll take the option this time. Warrior 27, Fox Tower, Roger, runway 2, correction, runway 33, clear for the option. Clear for the option, runway 3387 Foxtrot. Cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop the power all the way out. And we have like tons of energy right now, so I'm not going straight for the numbers yet, but it's going to happen soon. Alrighty. been doing simulated engine out the whole time on 3-3. It's been like no power since the numbers, or since it beamed the numbers. We're going to have too much energy. But that's okay. We'll just land long. As long as you get down safely, right? Extra mass mix. Surplus energy is almost never a problem. Tower FA1. FA1 will start. Have you closed 1129 yet? FA1 affirmative. So I don't need to call you to cross that to go out there. Cross C3 you do though. Yeah, for that one. But staying on this end for now. FA1, Roger. Awesome. Well, we'll call it a day right there. Some good landings. That was tons of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed too. And I hope that you uh, do use the poll and let me know what you guys think because, I, you know, I can't make everybody happy all the time and there's always going to be people that complain. But you know what? Somebody might as well have fun and I'd like that to be me. And somebody might as well enjoy the videos and let that be the vote that you guys cast. Wait, you said Fox Trot, say intentions? We're going to exit the runway here and taxi back to parking. Wait, you said Fox Trot, watch the taxi to the ramp, remain this frequency. Taxi to the ramp and stay with you, 8027 Fox Trot.